Hello and welcome to my show, a real reality TV discovery channel. And for following the previous session, we discovered that there was a court case in relation to copyrights, as I mentioned before, for the concept for the reality TV shows that are created. So before, okay, so we have Simon Fuller and Simon Cow. Simon Fuller started a pop idol show, which is not the same concept as myself. But Simon Cow was invited to be the judge in Simon Fuller show. But when my concept came alive, he was Simon Cow was offered to have his own show with my concept separate from Simon Fuller. And Simon Fuller made a complaint that Simon Cowell actually con stole the concept, but it's not the same concept. So I don't think he had a case, but regardless of that, they settled on $1 million and the um, condition that Simon Fuller will not take any part of any of Simon Cowell's shows. And here we go. So uh, Mr. Fuller has a prudently attempted to settle this matter privately and they they have so um fox and fremento have hit back issuing their own statement which reads mr fuller has not been hired not performed any duties on the u.s version of the x factor which is my my version his suit seeks payments and credit as an executive producer, despite his neither having been approved by the required parties nor hired as such. We believe his lawsuit is without merit and we expect to prevail. Fuller's complaint stated, Fox and Entertainment made hundreds of millions of dollars thanks to the creative effort of Fuller. Because you see, if you really, really know from the inside, Fuller's show was only singing competition and the content contentists going home. There was no boot camp. There was no voting by the public. It was a competition, it was a telling competition. That's all the similarity, but all everything that add more into the concept already changing the whole idea. So Fuller did not come with the idea for the X Factor and Simon Cowell did not come to the idea for X Factor, but Fremento, who stole my idea, provided the idea to them. And this is how it started to franchise around the world. Now, when it's the time finally perform of these unequivocal promises, Fox and Fremantle refuses to provide Fuller his executive producer credit for defendant's new television show, The X Factor, and refuse to pay Fuller an executive producer fee commun as a commission with his duties and a stutter in the entertainment industry. So they kicked Fuller away. He started um, a show, singing show, talent show, but without the extras that come with it, which benefited even more the public. Defendants refused to honor the promises made to Fuller is particularly malicious given that but for Fuller's agreement, the X Factor show would not be able to uh, broadcast in the United States at all. Fuller, the man behind the script girls and others that I'm not going to mention, uh, it's actually with David and Victoria Beckham and Amy Winhouse, was understood to be furious when after he brought him fame, Simon Fuller brought them to Simon Carl. Fortune on Pop Idol and later American Idol, Carl announced plans for his own series. Why not? He's got my show behind his back. He knew that he's going to 
have a concept that will work for him and no one can take him to court for the concept because it's not even his powerful fuller is the man behind the back and brand that's fine and his hollywood walk of fame ceremony that's fine he thought that was the ultimate in disloyalty and betrayal tell me about it disloyalty and betrayal how do you feel that as if on the source at 19 entertainment told the mail on sunday in october he felt he had created simon cowell he which he did with the, that tiny bit helped him help to turn him into household name with idol and earned him millions to boot and Carl had turned around and virtually copied his idea did he copy his idea for the show that's I can guarantee you and stabbed him in the back yes a war time talking about drama where am I I was hiding go fight for millions and billions and really who created it is me he stabbed him in the back you both stabbed me in the back you don't even realize what you've done none of you created that um, concept fuller you started a reality you started a competition a song in competition that small but somebody had that much to it but it wasn't yourself and it wasn't fuller so nice to meet you guys a source cl closer to Fuller, to Carl, said Simon has made a fortune from Fox through Idol. The brand may be owned by Fuller, but Carl has always been the face of Idol. He felt res resentful for a long time that he was working around the clock and the bulk of money was going into someone else's pocket. Tell me about it. I was working for you guys behind the scene in Australia, across the Atlantic, and you just don't know even who created the shows. Both of you lied. Both of you don't understand or can't even see it yourself. But Fremantle knew. Fremantle knew. All right, I'm going to end this session and I'm going to go back to the, tra the drama in the next session. Thank you very much for being here. Michelle Rose from Melbourne, Australia. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go through all of the sessions. It's amusing. <laughs> See you soon.